is the moment, tonight is the night. Hey guys, it's Cryptomio Analysis coming at you with an update video on Zillica. So I see Zillica is making some moves. This is great. Let's look at the RSI and the stock RSI. Uh, RSI is overbought, but again, um, like we did this in the bear market, over, uh, oversold, oversold, oversold. Actually, Zillica was actually pretty, pretty good because um, it actually stuck to its support here. Damn, that's a big support. That's good. Okay, so bottom down. So this is that kind of conversation, confirmation. So going into the next four years, you guys should probably know that um, because look, like if you're buying in the over, oversold areas and then you see in a bear market, the, it's gonna make lower lows, right? It's gonna make lower lows. And then there was a pivotal point where it stops making lower lows. It actually s just floored. So this is a good indicator. I, I can't believe I missed this, but um, in, in my defense, the coins that I did look at and the coins that I wore in, they were actually just making lower, 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 lower lows. So at no point was I looking for this in Zillica. Anyway, this is a good sign for that. Um, regardless, uh, I think that here let me actually look at this in the log log view. So we're not bullish yet. We need to get above uh, the two three six at seven cents, which we already knew that actually, but which was an easier way to just delete this. I really need to just buy trading view so I can keep my graphs, uh, keep my charts going. But also just keep in mind that we did break this. Uh, this channel. So if we actually retested it, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, as you can clearly see where you tested it. So I want to say the next target up is going to be, honestly, I, mean, I, don't, I don't see why it wouldn't be the seven cents, right? Because if we were probably going to get tagged at the seven cents, honestly, I, I, I think we're probably going to do something like this and then use it as support. Um, and then in that case, how high can it go? That's a good question. So I like to always play conservative and say it between the 1618 and the 2618. So between 40 and 65 cents, that's just me though. Like I'm not, I, like you should have a plan. I always say this and I know it's really hard. I have doggo on Mars. So if you can relate to me, I don't, I'm always like, when am I going to sell, right? So I'm going to sell some at the 786 because I'm always scared that it's not going to go to the all-time high, okay? And I think that's fair because last bull run, I, uh, for everyone that knows, uh, Litecoin, um, I don't count Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash, XLM, XRP, those coins didn't make their all-time highs, but they did retrace to the 786. So that's where I'm getting that from because you don't want to hold like I've been holding for two, three years now and, and I don't want to hold for it to all go all the way back down. I'm not saying that's going to happen in Brasilica because there are obviously exceptions, but you should just have a game plan and be smart about it. So 786 is a good target. 1618 is a good target. 2618 is a good target. Let the, let the rest ride. Come back in two years. Buy Zillica when it's down. Hopefully when it's up. I want to say that if it does like if it does break the 1618, What's 90% from the 1618 retracement? So it would probably go between, so it would probably like, like land between, kind of like what XLM did where it hit 80 cents and then it never fell back under like seven or eight cents. I want to say the same thing here where the two through six actually does hold on the, on the downside. And this is, but this is like talking like three, four years from now, but again, it's good to think about that, right? Especially if you're in a coin and you're trying to make profit and all that stuff. But 
anyway, uh, that's just food for thought. My opinion, obviously, you could, you guys could ape in and sell all of it at like uh, fifty dollars. I don't know. I don't care. But um, if you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for your support. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And again, congratulations to everybody that held. I do think that this is. I mean, this thing could go to seven cents at any second. Uh, we've, we've been getting major retracement pump, uh, what do you call them, like recovery bounces, finally, which I actually thought was going to happen in January, uh, but we're finally starting to see that happen in the market. So um, again, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.